Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part one. So let's jump right into it. Now, according to breakingtravelnews.com, I've got five fabulous facts. Um which is mostly good news so let's jump right into it now number one is Air Canada agrees to uh, a $190 million air transit acquisition acquisition excuse my pronunciation the airline news that's the latest airline news that is the amended did transaction reflects the unprecedented impact of the COVID-19 upon the global air transport industry which has enjoyed a severe decline in air travel since the initial agreement so um it's uh, again really good news that um, air canada has a agreed a um, 190 million air transit acquisition um so that's good news and number two Ethero urges the government to take action as passenger numbers collapse and that's again airline news again the latest and in airport news Ethero saw pa passenger numbers fall by 82% during this September as the COVID-19 pandemic continued to take a huge toll on the aviation sector. Um, again, I really hope um, the government does do more to um, help um, in the airports and industries um, in the UK um, so they'll be able to survive and um, also for them to make, uh, be making less redundancies or staff on furlough for instance. Um, moving on uh, to uh, Bench Didicot unveils future hospitality summit agenda so this is good news this is the latest travel event and uh, organizers at the future hospitality summit have revealed an exciting lineup of special guest speakers as the show gets ready to bring the hospitality world together so that's again a really good event and um, I really hope um, it makes um, again an improvement um, to the travel industry worldwide and um, it's also bringing people to together as well to try and find a solution to it to the problem and ways in the world to get the horse uh, travel industry um back up and running again and number four atlantis the palm hotel to refund the cost of covid19 tests so yes um that's again a very thought, uh, thoughtful thing that the hotel um atlantis the palm 
hotel um, has done and um, again it's to help um, passengers in um, the long term and um, it also reassures them in the long term as well as well that you can get a COVID-19 test at the hotel and again it's going to be for, for free so they're going to refund you the cost and uh, number five IATA seeks to reassure passengers over onboard COVID-19 transmission risks so it's again really good news that IATA are going to be reassuring um, their pa passengers and um, those that again definitely need to fly for business or whatever um, or if they are travelling for leisure that um, they can get an onboard COVID-19 test and obviously transmission risks of the area that they're going to so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it's the red and white subscribe button also click the notification bell um, and I'll give you it will upload as soon as I upload vlogs on both my lifestyle and tra uh, travel channel um, I upload at least three times a week sometimes even now up to six times a week um, so I love talking about travel and lifestyle and um, so thank you everybody that's already subscribed to my channel and those that are watching my t uh, channels and um, I love you all everybody keep safe and follow the restrictions um, in your country or wherever in the world you are so i wish everybody a happy future and thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye